Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. I've been waiting now for about nine days for the upgrade of the tyres from what's on the bike now to actually to these. And they just arrived here today. So these are from an eBay seller who specialises in posty bike, all accessories and tyres and that. So here they are. So these worked out roughly $130 Australian plus postage, so it worked out $65 a tyre. And uh, I think it was around about 25 bucks for the postage. So if we look at them, they appear to have a nice chunky tread pattern. So even though I had to wait nine days to get them, what I might do, I might split them out of the package here and we'll bring them over and have a look and see. I will just put them up like this against the bike and then I'll split them. So they're exactly the same size as what's on the bike. I think it's 300 by 17, so we'll see how they go on the fitting. So they look like they've got a nice big tread pattern compared to what I've got now. Have we look that. But anyway, I'll split one out and we'll just put it up against it for a comparison that way. You'll be able to see this. So the brand of the tyre is called Unui, and the best thing about it is. You might be able to see there, it was made in 2020, so it's not an old tyre. And uh, like I said, it was purchased in Australia by a guy who sells all stuff for uh, posty bikes. So the one good thing about that, he sells stuff for tyres, tubes, all stuff like that for the um, stuff for the 125s. But if you're after anything for the earlier model posty bikes, well, he's got a huge range of stock there. So I'll put an item number in for this bike. You know, if you're after these tyres by chance, then you can go there for tyres and tubes. But if you're after other stuff, you can go through his website and check everything out there and see what he's got, and it might be of help to you. So we'll get back and put this up against the bike now. Okay, that takes about care of that, so that's what we're going to end up with. Let's have a closer look now. And if we look back at what we've got, so we've got factory tyre. Swing back around to this. That looks like we'll have a nice little bit of a tread pattern there for when we Get out into the scrap. Pretty hard to get a close look at it here, but looks nice and meaty. Plenty of chunk in it. Plenty of depth. So that's about what we're up to now. So hope you like the look of those. And once I get them mounted on it, and I might have a go at fitting these myself. So we'll see what happens there. Never fitted a set of tyres before, but we'll see what happens and. I can put something together on that, I will, and we can see what happens further down the track. Plus, in actual fact, I'm hoping that with this change of tyres, going to these ones, and they fit on OK and I have no drum with that side of the fitting, that I can get out there, get back into those rough areas I'd been on some of those hill climbs, take these new tyres out there, again with the uh, 13 tooth front sprocket and the 41 rear, Head up those same hills and just see how better or hopefully it'll run better with the new change of tyres, sprocket, change considering I've got 13 or 41 changeover and just see how it performs compared to how I used to run it with the previous setup. So, And then throw in the new suspension too. So it's getting close to that stage now where I'll be out there testing it to really see if it's made much difference or not. So once again, thanks for tuning in, taking a look. We'll see what happens further down the track on this one. and. It could be interesting or they catch us later.